so we're going to talk about percent solutions in this video, which you secretly already know how to do. In the last couple videos, we talked about concentrations. And so a concentration was just the amount of a substance in some volume. And so when we talk about percent solutions, we're actually going to be a little bit more specific with regard to how we're measuring the amount of the substance. And there's some fancy notation that comes along with this. So if we're talking about the units of volume, right, so we're measuring, so we have some, a volume of some kind of substance and we're diluting it in with some other, vol, that something else that we measure in a volume, some other liquid. Um, so we have units of volume of concentrate in some units of our, this would be our total volume. So when we talked about percent concentrate, we had the amount of some substance um, in or per some units of uh, total volume. And so when we, instead of saying total volume, we're just going to call it the solution, right? Because the solution is the mixture that we mixed up. And this actually has fancy notation. So when we talk about units of volume in units of, uh, I should say, volume of solution, there's a, we write V per V per V, so volume per volume. So this tells us that we're mixing something liquid in something else that liquid. So something we're measuring a volume with in something else that we're, me it, within a solution, a volume of solution. And then remember that the percent sign means per 100. So <clears throat> what this tells us, percent volume per volume means the units of volume of our concentrate per every 100 units of volume in solution. So that's all it is. You, you see what we've been working with, percent concentrates. It's more, it's very similar. It's just now we're being very specific about what, how we're measuring that concentrate. So likewise, you could also have um, <coughs> percent weight per volume, right? Um, and so this would be units of weight, right? We're measuring of our concentrate, our substance. You'd probably say substance here. Um, in, and the percent means, remember, per 100, 100 units volume of our solution that we're mixing up. So usually, right, when we're working in the metric system, the basic, do you remember what the basic unit of measure was in the metric system? It was grams. So grams of our solute, right, the thing that we're, is a concentrate, we call the solute, the thing that we're dissolving, <coughs> or excuse me, diluting, we would call the solute. So the grams of solute and <coughs> per 100 milliliters of solution. Because remember, we, we, uh, our basic unit of measure is liters for volume. Um, but we're going to use milliliters here, usually in medicine the, or in healthcare, the basic uh, a liter is a, just a little bit too big. So we're going to use milliliters. Um, so if, if we're using grams per milliliter, if we're talking weight per volume, uh, you could use something else. You could use milligrams, right? It'd still be weight per volume. Um, <coughs> So this guy, the basic unit of measure would be, we're going to use milliliters of our concentrate per, right? And again, 100 milliliters of our solution, so our total volume. Right? Uh, but remember, a, hundred, a milliliter is the same as a cc. So you, it could also, sometimes you might also see it written as, I meant to write 100, not milliliters, 100 cc's of solution instead of 100 milliliters of solution. So our milliliters of concentrate 
per 100 cc's of solution. So there's actually, make a little room here, there's actually one more uh, way that you could have a percent solution and it would be, so here we have weight per volume, we have volume per volume, the other way you could have it is percent weight per weight, right? And so it would, that would be the units Uh, weights, weight, unit weights, unit weight of your solute or concentrate, however you want to say it, per, and remember percent per 100, 100 units weight of our solution. So this is if we are measuring both the solute in weight and the uh, solution in weight. And so that would be grams of, right, they both be in grams, grams of gram solute per 100 grams solution. So those are some of the abbreviations you're going to see in this section. Um, and we're going to approach them pretty similarly to how we approach the concentration problems, which most of them were really, were really these kinds of problems. We just weren't very, being very specific yet with that notation. So let's try a few examples. <coughs> 